Welcome back to Bangalore School of Banking. This is Sachin here. Introducing myself a bit more. I'm introducing something more about my institute that's turned into a residential school where I can stay and finish the syllabus in one and a half months. Total course fee being 6,000. Staying, boarding, fooding, everything <coughs> comes around rupees 5,000. It's not necessarily that we'll be giving you for one and a half months. If you require for more time, you can stay in an institute. In fact, these people, not everybody know, but they are the Google Pro founders. Here is Mr. Serge Brown, and definitely he's the icon for anybody who is in the internet introducing the shoppers key this is a copyrighted technique to me any attempt to make the concepts into a printed material as a study material book magazine or discussed to a group of people as a profit making or non-profit making seminar basically meaning a free seminar as well or in any coaching class institute is a criminal offense under the jurisdiction of the High Court of Karnataka. It's not only like the names that I'm using in the YouTubes like Master Key, now Shop Shoppers Key. The concept is copyrighted. So <clears throat> what a Shoppers Key is? Profit and loss is done by two ways one is unitary method one is the use of algebraic formulae like sp minus cp by cp into 100 and so on you'll find people these days very much rare those who are really good at unitary method I have high reverence and high respect to people who are good at unitary method. But not all problems, but most of the problems can be done by unitary method. I repeat, not all problems on profit loss can be done by unitary method. Because while we will see intrinsically what is the unitary method, we are doing actually algebraic equations in mind maybe some equation we are doing in mind so when our square comes unity method fails then comes algebra and if you bother profit and loss pick up any book and you'll find many many formulae so by the shoppers key <coughs> we can get rid of those hundreds of formulae and we can simply do any problem in profit and loss without bothering much of mathematics inside so what's the shoppers key let's say we went to a shop and we saw that a shot is rupees 500. So I went to a shop and I'm finding that the price of the shirt is rupees 500. I went to the counter and this person who is there in the counter is telling me that there is a discount of 20%. Okay. I went to another counter after that 
because he told me to go to the next counter and this counter is telling me that there is a 25 percent of income tax I went to the next counter and this guy says me that there is a 10 percent of special discount on Diwali finally I'm going to the last counter <coughs> where I'm to pay the amount what I say to be the final price so how much I'll pay here so this is 500 into this is 80 by 100 this is 125 by 100 this is 90 by 100 this is what I will pay in the counter or what is the cost for me so if this is rupees X and this is R1 maybe an increase or a decrease R2 R3 and so on so the final price that I'll pay in the counter depends whether there is an increase here or decrease here increase here or decrease here and so on so that's X into the formula being 100 plus R1 by 100 into 100 plus R2 by 100 into 100 plus R3 by 100 and it goes on this will give me the final price so <coughs> if there is an increase I'll take a plus sign if there is a decrease I'll take a minus sign if there is an increase I'll take a plus sign and so on so minus sign is taken for any form of decrease plus sign is taken any form of increase so in which cases I will take the plus sign increase is what kind of cases are there where there is an increase one is if it's an income tax it can be a VAT it can be growth it can be appreciation it can be a profit it can be an interest of two kinds simple interest or compound interest in all these cases I will use a plus sign and when there is a decrease I'll take the negative sign and the decrease is discount it can be a decay it can be a loss it can be a concession and so on so whenever the question reads like a profit I do not bother profit as such I just bother increase if there is a loss I just bother a minus so the same counter there is a profit there is a loss this profit could be an income tax also this is this loss can be your discount also so why do I say it to you be a shopper's key or shopkeeper's key because this price is the cost price of the shopkeeper <coughs> basically but he doesn't want to sell it at this he's selling at some price what is the selling price for the shopkeeper this could be the cost price of the customer because obviously when I'm buying this and I'm paying let me say 750 rupees whereas it was written 500 rupees this 500 rupees carries no meaning to me because what is carrying value to me is what I'm paying that is the cost price for me so this customer is actually not coming on the way 
this is basically the shopkeeper's mindset that he is making something and is selling so it's better said to be the shopkeeper's key now let's see the wide range of application of this particular technique here I go with the problems if a person is selling an article at rupees 480 he gets a profit of 20% find the cost price of the article trust me this person is the shopkeeper he sells at 480 he gets a profit basically meaning he is increasing the price somewhere in between and this is 100 plus 20 by 100 find the cost price of the article the cost price is X same case there was a short which was written X there is a 20 percent increase and this is my counter my final price fine so this is X into 120 by 100 is 480 you will get some answer that is not worrying me now Let's put another next problem. Had a trader bought an article at a loss of 20% and sold it for rupees 480, who would have gained 20%? Find the mark price of the article. Trader is the shopkeeper. Bought an article at a loss. This is a decrease. So X into 100 minus 20 by 100 and sold it for rupees 480 something is equal to 480 he would have gained 20 percent this is increase so let me just add another name to that where i wrote that for the plus symbol it's gone probably so for the plus symbol i'm adding another one that it was profit or also it can be again synonymous words same different words for the same technique for the same transaction so you would have gained 120 I mean 20 percent so it's 100 plus 20 by 100 so X into 80 by 100 into 120 by 100 is equal to 480 you will get some answer two zeros are gone with these two zeros 12 is gone as 40 this may be 5 X could be 500 So that X is find the, yeah find the mark price of the article. Now what is the mark price? It's something what is written on the chart because this is just marked. So that could be a mark price. Sometimes it's it's called quoted price. Do not bother these symbols. Mark price, quoted price, listed price. Do not see simply anything those are given for the transactions that that, are <coughs> that carry almost no meaning in maths because mathematics is basically plus and minus signs two successive price increases of 10% and 10% of an article are equivalent to what percentage price increase so most of the books do it like this so this is 10 plus 10 plus 10 into 10 by 100 this will give you 21 that's correct but this formula is having only this application if there is another 10% or 20% rise this formula can't be applied you might have to make another formula for every case you have to make another formula on that ground so what I do two successive price increases so this is X so I'm moving direct 110 by 100 into 110 by 100 of an article equivalent to what single price think that he, this is something think that this is X the shopkeeper didn't do anything like this he just increased by some R percent or in other words 100 plus R by 100 is his selling price so he's asking that instead of doing these two transitions transactions what single transaction could have given the same selling price so it's 100 plus R by 100 
this can become another one also it can become 90 by 100 also if there is a discount to that if there is 110 I mean another 10 person you make 110 by 100 more and so on you will get some answer that will be the same okay a person bought an article <coughs> a 20 percent discount on its original price and sold it for 20 40 percent increase on the price he bought it what percentage uh, per percentage profit did he make on the whole price so this is x into 20 percent discount so 100 minus 20 is 80 by 100 into sold it for 40 percent increase 140 by 100 is what percent is profit did he make on the whole transition on the original price basically 100 plus r by 100 112 is 100 plus r r equals to 12 next question a man sold two steel chairs for rupees this. On one he gains uh, for rupees 500 each. On one he gains 20%, on the other he loses 12%. Find his net gain or loss percentage in the whole transition. Transaction. This I'm giving you as a practice. Try to use the concept, but I'm telling using this shopper's key may not be so easy on your part you have to attend for the discussions on this whereas as far as bank exam is concerned understanding this much you can solve simply any problem but at times if you're finding that yeah there is a question what I'm unable to do then you have to bother a bit more Please join in the next discussion on Shoppersky where I'll be going with more problems and the same trend will be followed for simple interest and compound interest and you can see the discussions what I'll be putting in YouTube if possible. Thanks for watching.